some things are just too good to be believed. Like the email from that Nigerian prince who's in line for a billion dollar inheritance and wants to split it with you if you'll just give him your bank account information. Or the vastly discounted price on that late model used car that was driven by a little old lady and only on Sundays to and from church. Or how about this? The Gospels report that when the women went to the tomb to anoint Jesus' body, the tomb was empty. The women were informed by angels that he had risen from the dead and that they were to to deliver that news to his disciples. If you or someone you know finds that hard to believe, you're not alone. There are at least six references in the four Gospels that mention the initial unbelief of those closest to Jesus. Even the people who had seen Jesus violate the laws of physics multiple times, otherwise known as miracles, found it hard to believe that death could be reversed. But believing that the resurrection of Jesus really happened is essential to the Christian faith. Theologian Jürgen Moltmann said, Christianity stands or falls with the reality of the raising of Jesus from the dead by God. The Apostle Paul put it this way, If Christ has not been raised, our preaching is useless. So is your faith. So, is the resurrection of Christ believable? Well, here are two things to think about. One, a piece of historical evidence, and the other, let's call it a scientific curiosity. The historical evidence is this. All four Gospels report that women were the first witnesses to testify to the resurrection. Now, in our culture, that's that's not a big deal. Women serve as judges and doctors and senators and scientists and CEOs. When they render judgments or prescribe treatments, when they make discoveries or decisions, we trust them. But in the first third of the first century, women were not considered reliable witnesses. So if early Christians were making up a wild story about the resurrection, why would they choose women to be the first to spread that news? And then there's this. Almost all of the apostles died violent deaths for their belief in Jesus. I can see living a lie. But when they put a knife to your throat or a noose around your neck, the truth tends to come out. 17th century physicist Blaise Pascal said, I believe witnesses who get their throats cut. Speaking of physics, here's that scientific curiosity. In 1900, physicist Lord Kelvin said, there is nothing new to be discovered in physics now. Well, he was a smart guy, but there have been lots of discoveries since then. And with each one, New questions are raised. What is dark matter? Are there parallel universes? What happens in a black hole? Why does time only flow forward? Or does it? Why does gravity work? We don't know. Look, if gravity is all we can say about why an apple falls down instead of up, then there is much more about the universe that we do not know and cannot explain. Besides, if there is a God who created the universe and caused it to be governed by discoverable, predictable laws, it is not unreasonable to conclude that that same God could suspend those laws any time he chooses. Not a sermon, just a thought.